week's cordial transfer of power, the gloves have come off. President Benigno Aquino III and the former president and now Pampanga representative Gloria Macapagal Arroyo are heading for an early showdown. And then there will be not one or two, but three areas where the old and the new Malacanang tenants are expected to clash. One of Aquino's first acts as president was to form a presidential commission headed by retired Supreme Court Justice Hilario Davide to review the alleged criminal acts of Arroyo beginning with the aborted ZTE National Broadband Network scandal. In reply, Arroyo said she was prepared to face the panel. Also to be reviewed is the fertilizer scam involving former Agriculture Undersecretary Jock Jock Bolante, a known associate of former First Gentleman Mike Arroyo. Arroyo, however, has allies. Contributing editor Beting Ligo Delors says who in philippinenews.com. <music> The four Filipino nurses fired from the Bon Secure Health System for speaking Tagalog remain deeply distressed, disappointed, and shamed, but are reviewing their legal options, their lawyer told Philippine News. Immigration attorney Arnedo Valera said the complaint had been filed in June before the U.S. Equal Opportunity Commission, or EEOC, which is still awaiting a response from Bon Secure, a large hospital in Maryland. Nurses Jazeel Granada, Hachel Natano, Ana Rowena Abulencia Rosales, and Corina Capunita Nyap said they have been terminated by their employer without due process because they spoke Tagalog while at work, violating a hospital policy. The Bonsecor hospital system has imposed an English-only rule because, quote, English is the principal language of our customers and must be the exclusive language spoken and written by employees on duty, close quote. Marika Hampton has a full report in philippinenews.com. Entrepreneurs of color and underserved populations are missing out on a $3 trillion in contracts major U.S. corporations distribute annually to suppliers or businesses that provide goods and services to other companies. For every $1 million of said amount, 3% goes to Latino firms, 1% goes to African-American-owned companies, and the same percentage goes to Asian-American businesses. What goes to Filipino-American businesses? Zero. That's why the California-based nonprofit Mabuhay Alliance held a four-day social and economic justice boot camp last month in San Francisco and South San Francisco to reverse the inequity that longtime diversity champ Robert Ganeza has fought and amplified in sobering statistics to his multicultural audience June 17, the first day of training at the PG&E headquarters here. The full details and how to access the three trillion dollars in my report in philippinenews.com. <music> Forty-four-year-old Veronica Escalano of Queens, New York, has been charged with conspiracy to commit murder and attempted murder June 17 after she allegedly hired a hitman to kill her husband. New York City detective said the mother of three is convinced that her estranged husband, Ramilo Escalano, was having an affair. Quote, it's just unbelievable. Close quote, Romilo told WCBS News. I can't believe she would do such a thing. She was always thinking I was having an affair, but it's not true, Romilo continued. The alleged contract drew mixed reaction and strong opinions from fellow Filipinos, both single and married. 
Correspondent Len Almaden Thornhill reports how the Escalano couple descended into an unhealthy union and how the community feels about their relationship in philippinenews.com. Relatives and friends are mourning the sudden passing of Karen Molina Cardenas, daughter of Ambassador Leoncio June Cardenas, Philippine Consul General in Honolulu. Cardenas died June 30, according to a family announcement. She had just marked her 30th birthday 18 days before. Vice Consul Leia Victoria Rodriguez of the Philippine Consulate in San Francisco, where Cardenas' father was Deputy Consul General in the mid-2000s, told Philippine News her office was, quote, not privy to the cause of death, unquote. Karen Cardenas was one of sibling achievers, said family friend, Consul General in Shanghai, Maria Rowena Mendoza Sanchez, who was Consul General in San Francisco during and after Leoncio Cardenas' tenure in San Francisco. Karen Cardenas graduated from UC Berkeley with a degree in psychology. Memorial services were pending at press time. My report shares the highlights of Karen Cardenas' brief life and where to send sympathies in philippinenews.com. Ten-year-old Daly City resident Kai Ferrer Gingona is the 2010 National Judo Champion in the 10-year-old division. Proud father is Daly City Mayor Mike Gingona who made the announcement to Philippine News. Details and more in next week's philippinenews.com.